Uh, well, all right then. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's kind of a big day. It's not the biggest day ever, but uh, looks like we finally uh, got a pretty system for the standard Moonlight Summon, which is pretty good. Um, let's go take a look at how many uh, Moonlights I'm, I'm getting back. So, 11. I don't know how much that, how that trend, so I've only done like, that means I've only done like 20, like 220 uh, Moonlight pulls in my entire uh, Epic 7 career. Uh, so 220 Moonlight pulls. Um, I remember, yeah, 220, because it was, they were going to give you a pity every 30, so I'd have less tickets, but now I have more tickets uh, from what I remember them saying. Uh, on the thing, they were like, also, I think the percentage went down to 20%. From 20% down to 15%. But I'm not entirely sure. Don't don't take any of those numbers um, too seriously there. That'd be funny if I got like a ML5 star out of, the, out of that. Well, I don't think I can pull these tickets. Oh, okay. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I can. I guess I just can. Yeah, okay. I can pull the tickets if my inventory is full. So I'm going to have to go pause and go back and do that. Um, I'll be right back. Let me just pause real quick. Okay, so we're back. Um, yeah, and I made exactly uh, 11 slots, so we can go see uh, what we're getting here. Uh, down here, consumable, let's use one. So theoretically, if it's a 20% chance, out of every 10 of these tickets, you're getting two, right? Two pulls, uh, two five stars. Um, at 10% chance, out of every 10 tickets, you're getting one five star. Um, we because it's 15 percent it's somewhere between there so it's one uh one and a half so 50 percent of the people who get 10 tickets are going to get two and 50 percent of the people who get 10 tickets are going to get less than less than that they're going to get one uh, of course the math doesn't work out that way for any of you who know statistics this is just broad sort of uh what's the word um uh poorly calculated i guess like fallacious mathematics um in actuality, there's a bigger distribution. So some people are going to get zero, actually. They're going to pull all 10 tickets, and they're going to get zero. Uh, then some people are going to pull and get... They could get all 10 of them to be a five-star. I mean, the, the chances of that are, like, abysmally small. But, you know, uh, percentages and and probability works that way. Okay, so now we're... Again, we just got that first one out of the way. So I already have an Acades. Four stars that I need out of this are the new Kitty Armin... Not necessarily because she's that good, because I actually like Green Armin now way better. Um, but just because um, she looks kind of interesting, and it's like one of the ones I don't have. Um, five stars, really just anything. Save me a pity by not pulling on ML Calric. Uh, here's another C-Dom, which is uh, pretty you know standard, and most people get the C-Doms out of this. And there's AOL, so um, it just makes me laugh, because this is the third copy of AOL I've pulled. Um... Yeah, so it just makes me laugh considering how much people just dumped on her banner and for her to be basically just useless now. Um, which is hilarious to me. So there's uh, Roaming Warrior Leo. I remember trading him in, so that was a good one. I already have another copy of him already, but it's nice to know I would have gotten him back again. Uh, more Zerato. So we're about halfway. So this is the halfway mark, and we have not gotten a single five star. Um, so it's looking like we're either just going to get one <laughs> or none, so... Uh, ox slots. Obviously, I've got a bunch of ox slots already. Hey, there's a Dillabet. See, this is what I was talking about. And I got these. So there we go. Now I'm at 40, so I can use that Galaxy Coin Shop. So that's pretty cool. So look, I got one. Uh, if we don't get one after this, it's pretty good. Um, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, but, you know, at least we got one five star, so I'm kind of happy. Uh, Dillabet is not as good as I would have hoped because basically I just pulled an RGB five-star hero out of that which is why they gave me the coins but now that allows me to do this I'm just gonna do this just to like add a little more content to you guys so my Dilibet has 98% chance to crit and she misses crits constantly all the time so let's just give her this and now she's at 100% um, it's that simple and I was gonna waste one of these slates too so it's a good thing I didn't uh, let's go back so here we are, 100% chance. Um, yeah, Dilibet, rocking it, dude. I, oh my gosh, I love Dilibet. She's she's amazing. She's like my favorite unit so far. I kind of want to take off the Sigurd Scythe and give her like, or not the. I kind of want to take off the Draco Plate and give her Sigurd Scythe just to have her heal because it's like oh, she's just so much fun. Um, let's see who we get now. We got more a cart. 
Who's the other? Oh, I need Kawana. That's who I was kind of hoping to get out of this too, just because like I don't want to like. Obviously, you can't really pull for them, so you can't decide what you get. But I don't want to. I don't want to try to pull Kawana because she's not that good. But I mean, I, I just like a copy of her just to have her. Hey, there's a fallen CC, which is essentially useless to me because I already have a triple S um, fallen CC. That kind of sucks, but whatever. What can you do? Oh my gosh. So we destroyed the pity in the last few. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is this is actually kind of saddening to me specifically because uh, I just max moled my <laughs> just max moled um, my what's her name? Uh, what's the girl's name? Uh, the Green Armin. <laughs> Uh, to basically be a replacement for Bellion. So the idea with Bellion is... I guess I can kind of talk about Bellion um, to extend this. She's the last summon. <laughs> That's hilarious to me. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, uh, the idea with Bellion is she's kind of twofold. The majority of her usefulness doesn't even come from her kit. The majority of usefulness comes from, specifically, the fact that she AoEs on S1. That leads you to just running um, Elbrus, which means that she counterattacks more than basically any other unit. Specifically, probably, like, more than even, like, Rem. It almost seems like she counters more than Rem, even though they have the same, because Rem has a 20% built into her passive. But the thing is, if Rem counterattacks with her S, like, if she gets hit and she counterattacks with a counterattack set, Rem only a uh, S1s, right? And that's a, a single target. She has, she has she AoEs no matter what. So it makes it hard to bring squishy units into her because they're just going to get hit. And she doesn't do, like, cleave levels of damage, but she does enough damage to, like, threaten squishier units. So it's hard to bring them into her, first of all, right? So that's the first thing. AoE on the S1 cleave. And, again, the second thing is you can run on all kinds of counter stuff, right? Uh, but the other thing is running her on uh, injury set. Now, injury set's not that strong. Even on her, it's kind of like, eh. Like, in, in PvP, in uh, RTA, the matches are so quick that a lot of times... Again, the match is decided in the first few turns. But she kind of has that covered, right? Because if she counterattacks, like, twice in a row in the first two turns, that's already a huge hit to your, like, to your team, right? You're taking a lot of damage there. The The injury's not so much a factor. The injury's a factor later. Um, but the thing is... Like we said, she just applies it so easily that it's not even, like, it's a joke, basically. Um, the other thing with her, again, is the fact that she strips on the S1. Um, yeah, I mean, th those those three things are basically it. And most of that isn't even, like, necessarily with what she does. Because what she does is she S3, she S1s into the S2. Uh, she gives herself a buff with the S2. She taunts with the S3. Like, all that stuff doesn't matter. None of, none of the stuff that's, like, none of the text in her... Um, in her abilities really matter other than that line that says that she strips so that matters um and basically nothing else matters right so that you know that's kind of interesting but yeah so i got bellion i didn't think i was going to get her uh which basically means that now all i got to do is spend some money i've been thinking about a, a defense and now that i have bellion uh, i guess that's going to happen uh, it might it might happen i'll think about it this is my defense that I switched over to now. Uh, don't pay attention to this. This is a different um, team that was on that. But <clears throat> now that I have Bellion, I've been thinking of, because she has injury set, right? And I've been thinking about putting maybe Bellion here and putting her on an injury set as well, right? And then have both of them just constantly spamming AoE um, S1s, right? So have them both sitting here, because that's basically what Rem does, For Rem needs the counter set to kind of be decent. Um, so I can take off Rem and put her, so now we got two people. The idea is you kind of want to discourage them from AoE attacking, mm. right? So she discourages that by counter attacking, so does she, and so does he. So you want to make them, you got to kind of funnel them into a single target, which uh, is, for one, doesn't even stop the counter attacks, right? Uh, but for two, just makes your team a lot more annoying. Like, you don't really want to deal with that. Uh, so, yeah, you don't want to AoE because these two are just going to be pounding you constantly. And this guy, theoretically. But, again, I'm probably going to change that. So, this is going to... She's probably going to stay here. Uh, having Bellion... Ooh, having Bellion and her is going to be a pretty interesting combination. Because um, she can stun on the S1. 
and she strips on her S1. So if she strips, it makes it easier for her to get her, her stuns off. So before I just used her as like an injury bot and, you know, stuns every so often, right, if I get them. Uh, but now her stuns are a lot more threatening because of that. Um, these two, however, are still, I'm still thinking about them. Obviously, he's fallen off quite a bit because of um, Hua Young running around everywhere. Um, yeah, so you don't really want to like, I don't know. It just because you already got two greens, so if they bring Hua Yung, you're basically half your your team is dead because she can kill both of them easily, right? So keep that in mind. So he's not really that good. Um, the problem is I can't put anything else here because like if I put what's her name, if I put you know Apocalypse Ravi here, she's still gonna get killed. Like that that's still two targets that are easily killed by Hua Yung and maybe three or whatever, right? So the point being, Hua Yung is very strong. She's very oppressive to your team builds. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna switch this out. What I want to ideally, so what ideally was gonna happen is gonna have, is gonna be um, green arm in here, belly in here, and then something like cerise up here, right? And then it's actually pretty good that she has a um, AOE. Oops, oh, she's way up here now. Crit chance bonus. I just realized. I usually just I was gonna switch over to effectiveness because I don't, but I don't use her, so I don't have any gear for her. Anyway, the point being that uh, put her up here to um, strip with her S1, and then what I was kind of thinking was either you know for one I could probably just leave her down here, or I could um, what's her name? Where is she? Or I could run something like uh, where is she? Her Jacko. Um, Jacko would just be on here for the sake of flavor, just because I like Jacko. Um, but given all the strips from from her and the debuffs and whatnot, and then the S1, so like her, if she S1s, she's going to bring an AoE with her from, from Armin, or she's going to bring an AoE from her, or she's going to bring an AoE, or a single target from her, which will also um, chain into the S2, right? Because she S1s into a debuff target, she S2s them. With the chance that she, uh, well, she's not there, but with the chance that Cerise could also um, defense break them and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, so it looks like we got super lucky um, this time around on these tickets. Uh, I'll have to rearrange my team. The other problem is I don't have two um, injury sets. Like, I barely had enough to get one injury set, and that was um, <laughs> uh, Kitty Armin's, or regular Armin's using that now. Well, she's still a cat, so it's still Kitty Armin. It's just... Uh, Crimson Armin versus non Crimson Armin. Who was the. I, I immediately just forgot who the other five star was. Like, Bellion overshadowed her. Oh, it was. Uh, <laughs> it was uh, MLCC. Uh, this kind of maybe encourages me to, like, run a Bruiser MLCC or something like that. Like, that'd be kind of fun. But yeah, I don't know what to do with her. I might just feed her into my Fire CC, but Fire CC kind of sucks. I mean, she's not bad, but right now it's not very, you know, she's not very good. Let's just. Uh, I'll just max her on screen, I guess. We had to get some inventory space out of here, so we're going to use these up first. Okay, let's level her up again. Uh, yeah, so this, I mean, you can kind of, I'm probably not going to put molas into this because it's a waste of my molas, basically. <laughs> Um, this is decent. Uh, eh, you can kind of get away with not putting this, but this you need a maximal of this just because you want all the all the effect chance and all the damage out of this because this is what her main thing is. Uh, let's go see how much stuff. Oh, I actually have plenty of stuff for her. Cool. Um, so yeah, there we go. We got two. Well, we got one ML five star, one new one, um, and theoretically, probably the next rotation. Because I'm still going to pull for um, ML Cowric. The next rotation, I'm going to have to uh, drop my pity for him if I can get the pity. I don't. I'm not. I'm not at pity yet, sadly. But you know, let's see if I can. Come on, this takes forever. I didn't realize how long this takes. I still haven't used Araminta yet, so I have to work on that as well, but that's different. Uh, 
and she gives herself health. So now before, if we go over here, so she's maxed. Uh, not max mullet, I probably just do that right now in a little bit. I, as you can see here, I bought one of these because the first <laughs> imprint that you give a unit is better than um, the later ones. So I was like, oh, I'll just give them at least one and then we'll go from there. But this is the obviously the um, uh, the merges for strays. And I, I already kind of knew like when it came out, I was like, yeah, this is probably not a, a unit I'm going to use very often. But I may as well give it to him. Better to have it, not need it, than need to not have it, right? Generic gold uh, statement. But hers I might actually pull for just because it's so much more useful. Because his gives him extra attack, but like he overkills anything he wants to kill anyway. That, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's just like decent. Um, but hers is health, so it's survivability and damage wrapped in one. So you're getting d double the um, the usefulness out of this. So I'm probably going to have to save up 50, uh, 50 of these. Oh my gosh, that's so many. 50 gold transmit stills. That's so many uh, ML summons, especially now with the pity. It makes it a lot harder to give those up, but uh, Bellion's worth it. So yeah, there we go. Um... Bellion, not, not too shabby. Uh, was there anything else? I guess, like I said, uh, I'll probably have to unequip this. Uh, where's Erminth? Erminth is not even max awakened yet, just because um, getting these is kind of annoying. Um, but I'm looking forward to using her. Um, yeah, like I said, she looks like a lot of fun. Um, we can go down here. I have to max mull this too. Or actually, no, I actually don't have to, just because, again, the, the damage comes from the burns, not the damage of the actual ability. So you don't have to mull this that far. Uh, text all enemies with a massive fire now. So the thing does 100% chance to burn two, to put two burn effects, which is good for two turns, and 50% chance to stun. She gets a barrier, and the barrier increases her attack. Um, again, one of the things this is going to make her a lot better. Dispelling two debuffs is no joke with the added benefit of the possibility of um, boosting yourself up 100% chance. Again, is that going to happen? Probably not. Um, still, I'm going to like, you know, it's going to be great. I'm not sure what to run her on though because I'm like, it's 50-50 between, uh, where is it? Uh, actually, okay, so it's 50-50 between this and something like uh, maybe well not 50 50 this is 50 percent of this i'm kind of thinking about running this the other 50 percent is probably like something like an atisa scepter well that's another 25 percent so that's 75 percent chance in, or 75 percent consideration in total but the other 25 percent is running something like um aiella's because the thing is this right here is critical like you have to get the strip on this um however Ayala's works after so you know you're relying on this strip um but basically the point being that like if you don't strip at least you can like you have a chance to strip on this and a chance to strip on the Ayala's and then afterwards you can do something like this um and then of course basically again i might run her on counter set or something like that because the ability to burn and detonate that same burn in the same turn is like i mean that's that's it right there that's what you want right it's like a lot of her a lot of her power is going to come from this so I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Um, and then, lastly, we're, we're looking at we're looking at uh, where she silver blade. Um, silver blade still kind of sucks. Uh, there's really no <laughs> there's no other way around it. Again, she doesn't suck. Don't let anybody tell you she does. But yeah, it's just they didn't help her very much. She still got the same problems she did before. Um, Targets all enemies. Yeah, she's still got the same problem she has before. Um, so we'll, you know, I'll have to figure out what to do with her. But yeah, so hopefully you guys all enjoyed that summoning session. Maybe I should just, well, nah, I don't really. The reason I'm not pulling for ML Calric right now, I may as well, but the reason I'm not is because I'm waiting for this rotation. Because Ravi merges on my A Ravi would be pretty decent. Unfortunately, it gives A Ravi effect resistance, which if you're running her on. Uh, you know, Timeless Anchor or Crimson Seed or something like that, it's not that useful to have effect resistance, especially because of how, like, the effectiveness versus the effective effect resistance, like, race that's going on, like, the arms race that's going on, that little bit of effective resistance is not going to, like, help her very much. So that kind of sucks. But giving everyone, like, your team-wide, uh, the team-wide concentration thing is pretty good, which I actually don't know what she gives out. I think it's defense or something. 
Oh, she gives out HP, so that's pretty good. Um, getting at least one merge would be nice. Again, the effects are like 9% isn't going to do very much, right? You're running around zero because uh, you can't sacrifice any other stats, and as long as this cleanses, it's like whatever, who cares? Uh, but yeah, so will I? Will we see content with Bellion soon? Maybe. I mean, I guess I can try, but it's not guaranteed. Uh, like I said, I don't have another injury set, and I have to figure out what to do, like in terms of that. Um, if anything, she's gonna she does more damage than New Armin, so I'm probably just gonna swap it over to her, and then have New Armin do something else, right? Um, probably run around like a counter set or something, just to have her counter even more. But we'll see. Um, probably that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing, just because. She comes with 25% chance to counter in her base kit, and then adding another 35%, a 30, 35%, another 30% on top of that, just gonna make her counter attacks even more annoying. She's gonna be doing it constantly. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. We'll 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 take a look at it from there. Uh, so yeah, until next time.